when he's got the puck, you're pretty nervous. Spectacular goal for Matthews! Every shift, you think he's going to do something crazy. Human highlight reel goal by Austin Matthews. I don't think anybody in the game shoots the puck the way that he does. Wow, what a shot! He's a special player. Hello there! Good, how are you? So good to see you too. Have a seat. That's the hot seat for nice, you. Nice, nice. Everyone gets a sleigh. There we go. Oprah. <laughs> well, Austin, it's so good to see you again. Thanks for doing this. That's yeah, good to see you. Thank you. You know, I was thinking back to the very first time I interviewed you. I don't know if you'll recall, but it was a big night for you. October 12th, 2016, your very first NHL game. You had a pretty good game. Yeah, it went, went pretty well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Four goals. Okay, so post-game... That was wow. yeah. <laughs> me interviewing a very young Austin yeah. Matthews. What comes to mind when you see that picture? Uh, just no mustache. That's really <laughs> it. <laughs> just feels like that was so long ago, to be honest with you. It feels like time just flies. But uh, like you said, that was a pretty special night. And um, you know, a lot's changed since then. Okay, the mustache. It's Movember, and you've said that you will shave off your mustache if... We get donations of $134,000 towards men's health. Yeah. Uh, how did that all come about? The mustache or the campaign? Well, or... let's start with the mustache, yeah. actually. Give me the origin story. Yeah, the origin, um, I think a couple summers back, I went to Mexico with my family. I think I was just shaving, and uh, I decided I was going to leave the mustache uh, just for fun for the trip and kind of blend in with my heritage a little bit better. My mom kind of liked it, and I just kind of stuck with it for the rest of summer and into the season. So, uh, could you ever go the full Lanny McDonald? That's going to be a tough guy to beat, but hopefully as I get a little bit older, it thickens out a little bit more, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's not as uh, thin and greasy like it was a couple years ago, and it kind of still is. It's me, Austin Matthews. Some of you might know me as a professional ice hockey player. Most of you probably know me for my mustache. Help me raise $134,000 for November, and I promise I will shave this off, and you will not have to see my stash again. Hopefully people out there watching this will come and donate, because you'd love nothing more to be able to shave it off for a good cause. I'd like to, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a while since I, I haven't had uh, facial hair in general, uh, and especially the mustache, so you know, I feel like it'd be funny uh, and interesting to see kind of you know, what it's like without it. So let's say it's a, it's a day off, no practice. What is a typical day off for Austin Matthews? What do you do? Typical day off lately, it's been uh, a couple of the guys will go play uh, doubles tennis. Oh, for yeah, about, I heard For about an tennis. hour, hour and a half, yeah. You know, if it's a nice day, I like to walk my dog, spend time with him. I mean, he's, he's been a great addition to the family. Was he a COVID dog? Like, were you like so many other people during this pandemic saying, I just need something more in my life? Or when did Felix come into yeah, your life? Yeah, he was a COVID dog, but I kind of, um, made the decision I wanted to get a dog um, the year before when uh, Tyson Berry was on the team and he had a mini Aussie golden doodle. And, and, so and what is Felix again? He's a mini Aussie Bernadoodle. Okay, so when you're out walking Felix, if you've got, you know, uh, music in, what, what are you listening to? I'm gonna guess some Justin Bieber is on your playlist. Yeah, a little Justin Bieber. Yeah, I thought so. Um, <laughs> yeah, like some pop, uh, R&B, or, um, if I'm feeling really, uh, I don't know, pumped up that day, some hip hop or rap, but um, yeah, I like listening to all sorts of music. So your relationship with Justin Bieber, you guys have become really good friends. Where did it begin? It was at a Leaf game a couple years ago. Uh, I think we were playing San Jose and him and his dad were sitting right behind us on the bench. It didn't take long for the whole team to kind of realize that he was sitting there. And We had a really good game that night and um, we were flying out somewhere the next day. I think we were playing back to back and um, he messaged me on uh, Instagram and I was actually sitting next to Tyson Berry and we were both kind of just geeking out because we are like, this is so sweet. And, You're uh, a fanboy. Yeah, exactly. That's and awesome. um, That's just kind of where it, it all started and um, I think a month or two later a couple of us went over to his place um, an hour or so outside the city and hung out. Here in Las Vegas, Justin Bieber, a massive UFC fan, also making his way to the T-Mobile Arena earlier tonight. You went to a UFC fight in Vegas with him, a few of you. What was the 
craziest part of that experience? Jumbo was there, Freddie. We ended up in, uh, there was a video of it in uh, Kylie Jenner's Sprinter van. I did notice that. Yeah, I thought, so okay, that was, this is pretty big yeah, time. Yeah, it was, uh, it was funny, but it was, it was a great night. You were part of his entourage Yeah, then. kind of yeah. part of his entourage. Yeah. Um, you know, he was like Vinny Chase and uh, we were just the crew, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hopefully not drama, but... Exactly. <laughs> um, we went to one in Phoenix as well. He actually came down and the uh, craziest part was I, we went home and I was taking my shoes off and um, there was blood on my shoes. Uh, so that was pretty weird, but kind of cool. And I'm pretty sure it was Nate Diaz's blood because he was in a pretty gruesome fight that night. Um, so that was uh, pretty interesting, but I think the Vegas fight was uh, kind of a whole different level. I couldn't help but notice your hat. That is part of Justin Bieber's yeah. line. Fashion is something I know you've always been interested in. Where did your love of fashion begin? Probably started kind of in Switzerland. Um, you know, first time I was making money, so kind of able to uh, explore and uh, try some different things. And obviously Europe has a uh, you know, really um, you know, great sense of fashion and stuff. So I think that's kind of where it all started. I like to look at you know, Russell Westbrook or even Bieber, like different people, athletes. And I guess you can you know, see them and as a bit of inspiration with what they wear and try to find what works for you, I guess, or what you, whatever I like. I knew you were hoping to get Kyle to agree to sort of relax the dress code, which, which he has done, correct? Uh, yeah, he did. did um, is it still? No. Is this casual yeah. or what happened there? Well, we lost four games in a row and uh, we went back to full suit and tie. That's what it was. Yeah, so okay. that's why we've been winning also is because we Clearly, were wearing a suit and tie. you're back into suit and ties <laughs> yeah. and that is the reason why the yeah. Leafs have been doing well of exactly. late. I don't mind wearing a suit. It's really not an issue, but obviously it'd be fun to explore and, and wear some different things. So you're 24 years old, you're one of the brightest stars of, of the game of hockey. I mean, you, you influence a lot of, of what this league is and, and where it's going. How would you like to see the NHL evolve? I don't know exactly what that would be, but I think you kind of hit it on the head, just kind of embracing everybody's obviously unique and has their own personality. And I think sometimes, um, you know, with the culture of how hockey is, it's very like, you know, team oriented, which I think it should be. Um, but it just almost seems like robotic in a sense sometimes. So I like listening and seeing guys do interviews and they're just honest, they're themselves and it's like, you know, they're just unapologetically themselves and if you don't like that, they don't care and, you know, I like... And uh, is that you? I, yeah, I think so. I think, um, you know, it definitely evolved over my, you know, career. I think just, like you said, being more comfortable in my own skin and um, just embracing my personality and just being who I am and, and not really worrying about what other people think about me.